Good morning vlog! We are eating lunch! I am flying out to Disney today, so we're just having a quick lunch of like leftovers and stuff. I have a Costco fried rice, this is mainly for me, but we have some leftovers from the Mexican restaurant in the last vlog. So we have the Hot Cheetos Elote and also the Birria Quesadilla with the consomme. And we're watching American Born Chinese, we're on the last episode. Yum yum yum! Ready to eat! <laughs> guys my flight got delayed i'm so sad it got delayed by like over two hours because i was gonna fly in get there at like four and then check into my hotel whatever and then go to the parks and have like a little solo rainy disney day but Alas, it's gonna get cut short it will be shorter <laughs> yes anyway we went to kaizen coffee and got the miso caramel because we really really liked it last time mm. oh it's so good Hmm. It's so good, like such a like rich caramelly flavor. And plus miso as well. Yeah, like a dulce de leche kind of flavor. Mm. Don't you think? Yes. And the coffee's very smooth. Now I'm just gonna hang out at home, I guess, for a few hours. I'll probably get some Whoa! work. I'll probably have to get get some work done. Fine. <laughs> okay. Anyway, see you guys when I get to the airport. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye! Love you! Wow! Okay, vlog, we made it. Oh my gosh, my flight ended up getting delayed three hours. Oh, so sad because that meant less time in the park. Originally, I wanted to go to Disneyland and California Adventure, but I think we're only gonna have time to go to California Adventure, which is so sad because at Disneyland, there was these specific cookies that I really wanted to try. But anyway, it's okay, we'll go to California Adventure and I'll check out San Francisco. The food there, we're still gonna eat. And hopefully I can get on a few rides. It's literally seven o'clock right now. So I only have like two hours before the park closes. So yeah, let's do like the quickest room tour ever when you walk in this bathroom We've stayed in peacock suites many times before so you guys may have seen me do a room tour here Bathroom with the tub and shower. We have a little dining area Kitchenette sofa. I think this is also a sofa bed and then we got TV and then coming into the bedroom, two beds, two queen beds, because I am actually having a friend come and help me film tomorrow. So she's staying with me here. And yeah, we have a TV and yeah, this is pretty much it. <laughs> All right, let's go to the park. I'm so excited. We're gonna make the best out of these two hours. Oh my gosh, they already have the Lunar New Year stuff up. Yeah. So excited to try the food tomorrow. Wait a second, it looks like they're actually operating. Like you can actually order stuff. I don't know, I see people ordering. So I guess they open before the actual festival starts because the festival starts tomorrow. But it looks like today people are able to get some of the food. I was tempted to try the Lunar New Year booth stuff, but we're gonna try all of it tomorrow. And I promised myself I would try some stuff at San Francisco Square, so we're sticking with that. It's so cute here! Okay, so I tried to go and get the gyoza bun, which they brought over from Tokyo Disney, but they were all sold out today. So I'm really sad about that. Maybe I'll have to try to sneak it in in tomorrow's video because I still really want to try it. But here we have the beef birria ramen. This is something that I've been dying to try ever since I saw it come out. I haven't eaten since that fried rice at like 12 and it's like 7 30 right now so i am starving and this looks super comforting for a rainy cold day <laughs> oh whoa oh my god i don't know if it was the bite that i had but it was so salty okay let me try again 
The second bite was definitely better, not as salty. I don't know what was up with that first bite. The noodles are really, really soft. I wish they had a little more chew to them. Not horrible though. And they do hang on to the flavor of the broth pretty well. So I will give it that. Also, this whole bowl is like basically noodles. It's really hard to get any soup. Or it could also be that the, all the noodles soaked up all the soup. So there's not much soup left. Mmm. Just got a bite with some beef and the beef is pretty tender. I'm literally scarfing down this ramen because I'm just so hungry. <laughs> oh, whoa. There's some cheese in here too. I didn't know it was a ketchup birria ramen. I thought it was just a birria ramen. Overall, it's not a bad option. I mean, it's not like amazing, amazing and like the best birria ramen I've ever had, but it's definitely not bad. Very flavorful. I wish the noodles were chewier, but it does the job and the beef very tender and I love the flavor of the beef too. Originally, I was just gonna get the beef birria ramen and the gyoza bun, but since they were out of gyoza bun, I got this karage chicken sandwich and it comes with shishito pepper and also some, they call it garlic chips, but they look like those shrimp chips that you get at the Chinese restaurant. They taste very similar too, pretty nice. All right, let's try this sandwich. Look at that, it's a huge piece of chicken. Chicken has a nice crunch. Also, it's decently juicy. It's not like super, super juicy, but it's decently juicy. It's seasoned really well. Like it has a lot of flavor. The bread, it's a bit dry in my opinion. And I'm wishing that there was more of that sauce because I took like maybe five bites already and haven't gotten any sauce yet. <laughs> the slaw is much needed. It adds like this brightness and refreshing crunch. Overall, this is also not bad. I feel like I'd get this again. I get the birria ramen again too. More so when it's like cold outside. It was like perfect for today where it's rainy, but yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised at both of these items. I didn't really know what to expect. I saw mixed reviews online, so I wanted to come and try it for myself. And I do really like these chips. <laughs> After I finish eating, I'm gonna go get some B-roll and I'm gonna look at what rides have a short wait. I think I'm actually gonna go in cars because I can go on the single rider line, which should be quick. At least I hope, I hope it didn't break down. But yeah, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Let's go check out the merch. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I actually saw this on Instagram a few weeks ago. Bird sent it to me and I really wanted it, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll get this. I already have a Baymax ear technically, but this is really cute. I love mochi. Reminds me of Tony. Oh, adorable. And then look at this wall of squishy Baymaxes. So squishy. Oh my gosh, look at this backpack with Baymax holding mochi. Oh my God, adorable. And on the back, there's even a little Baymax with mochi on his head. This is so cute. What the heck? <laughs> cute. And they also have magnets and ornaments. Baymax plushie. I already have a Baymax plushie. That bird got me from Taiwan like 10 years ago. <laughs> and I still cuddle it every night when I go to bed. It's actually cuter than this one. I like the one that he got me from Taiwan, which is kind of funny that it's better than the one they saw in the park. Oh my gosh, look at these little mugs. So adorable. A s'mores Baymax. Too cute. Oh my god, we just saw Lightning McQueen. So cool. Also, 
I did the single rider line on cars and it was basically like you just walk on. So that was super nice. Highly would recommend because cars has the longest line and also the lightning lane is extra like on top of the Genie Plus. So yeah, if you want to ride it, definitely do the single rider line. Very worth it. Now it's 8.30. I don't know if I have time to get one more ride in before World of Color at nine and the park closes at nine as well. So I don't really think I have time for another ride, but I'll just walk around, get B-roll, enjoy my time. It has been a hectic day, but happy to be here and excited for tomorrow. Excited to try all the Lunar New Year food and see all the Lunar New Year celebration stuff. And yeah, sorry this was like such a short Disney trip. It meant to be longer, but the flight delays had other plans. <laughs> it's okay though, I still had a good time. Good morning vlog! It is the next day. We are actually walking to the park right now. This is my friend Robin. Oh. <laughs> She's gonna help me with my filming today. And yeah, we were trying to make rope drop, but we're a little late. So we'll probably get there like 10, 15 minutes after rope drop, which I think it's a Tuesday. Hopefully it won't be as, you know, too bad. We can still get on some rides. But yeah, very excited. And I'm wearing my boba ears, look. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Guardians. It said it was 10 minutes. It definitely wasn't 10 minutes. It was more like 20. Oh my god, Mickey and Minnie. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're going in the trolley. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> so cute. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're so cute. Hello. Our rope drop strategy wasn't the best. Honestly, I think since we got here at 8.20, the 20 minutes between 8 and 8.20 are super crucial. So if you can make it at 8, I would highly recommend that because Guardians, it said it was 10 minutes. It was definitely like 20 or 30. And then we went to Soren. And when we started walking over there, it said it was 10 minutes. But then by the time we got in line, it said it was 20 minutes, but we ended up waiting like 30 minutes. So yeah, and then we went on Little Mermaid. And now we are waiting for Mei Mei from Turning Red. She's doing her debut today, which I'm really excited. And there's a bunch of people 
waiting here. But yeah, we have to meet Maymay. I mean, I'm wearing my four town shirt and I usually wear my Maymay ears too, but today I'm wearing my new boba ears. Oh, my hair is like, okay, anyway, I'll fix that later. But yeah, now we're waiting and then we're gonna go eat. Hello vlog, we met Mei Mei which was super super cool They were super cute, it was Mei Mei and her mom And now we are sitting at Flo's VA Cafe in a back corner and we are about to film the Lunar New Year food, at least a few items. So this is our little setup. Say hi. <laughs> We're ready to eat. We got dumplings, we got a macaron, which already broke a little bit, and we have two drinks there. And I'm filming on my little DJI camera. So let's get to eat it. You guys, Goofy literally just ran up and hugged me. That was like the best moment of my life. <laughs> I love Goofy. Hello vlog, sorry it's been a while since our last update, but we have been really busy trying to try all the food for the main channel video, but there were some good ones, so definitely go check that out. I feel like it'll probably be up before this vlog is up, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. But yeah, right now, Robin is helping me collect some food. It helps to have someone with me so that when I need to like film other stuff, I need to film B-roll or something, she can help me go get the other food, make sure we're on track, we're on schedule. But yeah, so far, everything has been really, really nice. I always love Lunar New Year time in Disney, so it's been super cool to see like Mushu and Mulan, all my favorite characters, and I still can't get over the fact that we met Mei Mei. Are you Mei Mei? I am! Oh my gosh, I met a viewer just now, that was so cool. I love when you guys say hi to me and I get to meet you guys and we can talk and chat. So yeah, anyway, we are now walking to meet Robin. We're gonna eat more food. I am especially excited because they have a green tea strawberry churro. I do love a green tea and strawberry combo. So I'm extremely excited for that. But yeah, just thought I'd have a quick check-in with you guys. And now we're back to filming for the main channel. We are seated at the Lamplight Lounge and we ordered something that's not gonna be in the main channel video So I thought I'd share it with you guys in the vlog all over social media I've been seeing this Dole Whip shot that you can get at the Lamplight Lounge It's not on the menu. It's like a secret menu thing and I've been wanting to try it, but I am super lightweight So I don't think I should drink a whole shot to myself. So me and Robin are gonna split one <laughs> So here we have our Dole Whip shot Ooh, A lot of it's filled But no, there's still a good amount. We got like a Half, half. Should we wait? Should we chug it or should we sip it? Should we taste? Okay, so we... so sip first and then chug after. Okay, ready? Cheers. Oh, it's good. Like you can kind of taste a little bit, but it's not too bad. Yeah, you can't really taste. Yeah, and it does taste like Dole Whip. It has like a a pineapple-y, a little coconutty too. I feel like almost like a pina colada. Okay, cheers. Not bad, not bad, but 
Man, I hate shots. <laughs> if you guys want to try the Dole Whip shop, I recommend it. I feel like I already feel it. <laughs> it's only been like five seconds. Hopefully I don't get too red. My uh, Asian glow is usually pretty bad. You'll see us later. Oh gosh. Anyway, I must prepare myself to film the main channel video. See you guys later. Hopefully I'm sober. <laughs> Good morning vlog! It is the next day. Sorry I didn't really give you guys an update last night after we left the park but basically me and Robin came back and we were like sorting through clips and all that stuff and yeah today I am already flying back to the Bay Area. This was a really short trip. Literally flew in Monday night Tuesday spent all day filming and then today's Wednesday morning and I'm flying back home But I am excited to get back to the bird and the cats So I'm about to check out of the hotel right now and we're gonna head to the airport We are going to lunch California fish grill. Bird likes this place a lot. <laughs> this is why Bird likes this place, because he likes their soda. <laughs> they have a specific brand. It's like a craft soda brand called Stubborn Soda, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he really likes their root beer and cream soda. And they actually have one that's called like lemon berry acai. And I think that tastes like nerds clusters. And this is our go-to order here. This is the mahi-mahi bowl. It has mahi-mahi, some sort of like chipotle aioli, avocado, some slaw, pickled onions, white rice, and beans. So we both order the same thing. And then we always get this to split. It's the Parmesan string beans. And they come with a side of ranch. Very, very good. We've tried the fries here and we like the green beans better actually. Very good stuff. <laughs> fish is flavorful. I love the veggies and it's a bit spicy. Remember one time we got it and it was really spicy. They made it really spicy that day, but it's usually not that spicy, but I like the kick that it has. Parmesan green bean. Mm. Mm. Perfectly crispy and I really like the ranch. It adds this like creaminess to it. Mm. Bird finishes root beer, so he's gonna try the lemon berry acai soda. It does taste like nerd's rope. Yeah, like nerd rope, nerd clusters, Yeah. right? It has like a fruity, tart kind of taste. Mm, not bad. Yum. Oh my gosh. Since we filmed that clip, we've gone back to the California Fish Grill place and they took away our favorite mahi bowl that we showed you guys that we were eating. So now I don't think we're really gonna go there. I mean, they do still have the soda and the green beans that we like, but the main thing was the mahi bowl. So yeah, I'm sad about that. So if you guys were planning on going and trying the mahi bowl, sadly, they don't have it anymore. At least not right now. I don't know if they're gonna bring it back. But anyway, that's it for this vlog. If you made it this far, comment below. May, may, met, may. May May, <laughs> May, May squared. <laughs> okay, anyway, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.